Finishing as the number two seed after going 17 and five since the All-Star break, here's why the NBA is not ready for the Celtics along with the face of their franchise in 2022's playoffs. Jason Tatum just posted the third best single season plus minus ever recorded by a Celtic, only behind legends Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett during 2008's title season. Beantown has the highest net rating of any Eastern Conference team by a wide margin and have a roster that's both extremely deep and whose top players are hungry for revenge. Stay tuned to see what makes Ime Udoka's team most well-equipped to go the distance and whether or not Jason and Jalen can finally live up to C's fans' expectations of winning the franchise's 18th chip. Right before that, 90.3% of you watching right now aren't subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops, and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. In yesterday's video, we looked at how the Milwaukee Bucks avoided the Brooklyn Nets, resting everyone on the final day of the season. However, the Boston Celtics approached Game 82 a little differently, almost contradicting that Nets upload from yesterday. To line his team up with the team they lost to in the first round last year, Coach Udoka decided to start his regulars. That decision paid off in a major way against Memphis, as Ime witnessed exactly what he set out for. The Celtics won 139-110, everyone came out of the game healthy, and Boston locked up the second seed along with home court advantage through the Eastern Conference semifinals. The regulars were dominant in the opening quarters, taking a 23-point lead into halftime that allowed Boston to rest their starters. Speaking on all the attention the number 7 seeded Kyrie and KD-led Nets are getting, Coach Ime Udoka didn't show the slightest bit of fear, saying, everyone's talking about Brooklyn, but they have a play-in game to play. You can run from teams and they don't even end up being there. What we concluded was, let's do what we do and let the chips fall where they may. In terms of how Ime's team got it done on Sunday night, Tatum dictated Boston's offense during their hot start, going nuclear in just 26 minutes played. JT finished with 31 points on 11 for 14 shooting, including going 6 for 8 from 3 point range, while being a game high plus 29. 26 of his points were posted in the first half, so let's quickly enter the film room to see how Tatum's rounding into playoff form. This staggered screen from Al Horford and Marcus Smart gets Tatum the switch Boston was looking for onto the smaller John Conchar, and directly after receiving the pass from Derek White, Jason uses only one dribble, smartly knowing he's got a big time strength advantage, and goes right through the Grizzlies fan favorite Conchar with a beastly two steps, an unguardable finish. Given Tatum's finishing, it becomes instinctive for defenders to sag off him in transition, but right here, watch how Jason utilizes one simple hesitation and fake with his eyes to the basket, and then after about seven plus dribbles to take him up the court, he elusively stops on a dime and pulls up from around 30 feet. That's just damn smooth. Showing off the entire offensive bag, after setting a screen to gain another mismatch, the number 11 leading scorer in the association this time gets the ball on the block, working against DeAnthony Melton. At first, it seems like Tatum's about to show off his improved strength by backing Melton all the way down, but watch this creative Smitty move, as instead of continuing his handle like a normal Smitty dribble, midway through the fake spin, JT plants his left pivot foot and beautifully spins around for a fadeaway jumper from the charity stripe. And to close out today's film room breakdown, as well as Boston's first half on Sunday night in Memphis, just sit back and admire these three straight saucy crossovers leading into a step back deep range bomb, which ended up being a four point play. Just ridiculous footwork, feel for the game, and once in a lifetime shot mechanics for his size from Jason Tatum. Next, we'll talk about Boston's mind-blowing advantage over any other Eastern Conference team in a crucial advanced stat. Before that, in terms of Game 82, Al Horford stuffed the stat sheet with 13-6-2-1 while playing game-changing defense. All-star second option Jalen Brown had 18 points in 23 minutes. Daniel Tice finished with a double-double in 26 minutes and had a nice putback slam. Peyton Pritchard kept his hot shooting up going two for five from three point range with 12 points on the night. Third string center Luke Cornett went five for seven in extended minutes, allowing Horford and Tice some valuable rest. Both Sam Hauser and Aaron Nesmith drained a three pointer. Overall for Boston, the six days off to get their legs fresh will definitely benefit them. And during the final minutes of the Memphis win, you could tell there were some great vibes from Boston's bench. 
Overall, the most crucial aspect to the Celtics' playoff chances is going to be both their chemistry and keeping the dominant momentum they built up over the last few months. From Ime Udoka's point of view, there's always something to compete for, whether a W changes the standings or not. Any game is a chance to develop championship winning habits, something Udoka's preached throughout the entire year. Boston's net rating since the start of February, which makes up 30 games, is nearly three times better than any other Eastern Conference team over that span. As you can see from this screenshot, the number two ranked and number one seeded Miami Heat were over nine points worse than Boston in net rating throughout the second half of the season. Another reason you should have confidence in this 2022 Celts team throughout the postseason is their proven ability to play in a hostile environment. Boston finished the year with 19 20 point leads in 41 road games, which goes to show whether at TD Garden or not, the experienced Celtics are comfortable executing on both ends of the court. But to answer the question from the intro, which was, can Tatum and Brown finally live up to expectations in the playoffs? I think they can because of the healthy supporting cast around them. Marcus Smart's been the defensive anchor and a prime contender for DPOI. In 2021-22, Smart ranked first among all players in loose balls recovered per game, fifth in steals per game, fifth in defensive win shares, and seventh in defensive rating. You love him if he's on your side and hate him if he's not, but you have to give some credit to Smart for being the main reason Boston's ranked number one in overall team defense this season. Another big piece in the depth chart, the deadline acquisition and former San Antonio Spur Derek White has shot 45.2% from three over the final 10 games of the season. Batman Grant Williams led the season three-point shooting all year from October up until yesterday morning. However, the up-and-coming Peyton Pritchard caught him for three-point percentage on the final night of the season. What a second half of the year it was for the University of Oregon product. Not only are they deeply talented, but the Celtics are extremely well coached, with the first-year man in charge Ime Udoka at the helm, who isn't waiting around for the play-in games to start game planning for his first-round opponent. As Ime said following Game 82, quote, We'll get started on Brooklyn and Cleveland. We haven't seen Cleveland in a while, and we just played Brooklyn, but we've got work to do, and we'll get started on it right away. In your opinion, what's Ime Udoka's best coaching quality? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Irvin Alexar Guerra, who says, Yes, the Nets can win a title. Just because you have a full team, Kyrie and motivated Durant, add on a potentially motivated Ben Simmons, and added depth with Curry, Drummond, and Dragic. They're not great on D, but if they're at least average on that department, I think their firepower with stars will really push them far in the playoffs. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.